Good morning, good day. It's Labor Day. No, it's not. It's not Labor Day. So let me have some uh, super coffee. Let's see, should, am I gonna buy some some she rock today? Am I gonna do some bathroom renovation? No, not today. All in good time. But today is not the day for that. <clears throat> so we are at the the Ohm Dep. The Ohm Dep. And it's according to them it's Labor Day, even though it's October. October um, 12th the 13th. There's their pumpkin patch slowly slowly being bought let's go see what they have left for halloween they have a ton christmas christmas in october <clears throat> christmas in october So this is something that you need to see if you're still shopping for any kind of animatronic at Home Depot. Not much left. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna ask them if I can have these things today. I think they might give them to me. I'll ask. <clears throat> All right, so this is the state of Home Depot in October. Now they have eight skelly dogs. A bunch of these, whatever you want to call them, is here. They have that cool tree. Captain Cold Cuts. Captain Cold Cuts was marked down. Now look at this, 174. Check that out. Look at, look at his medallion. I've never even seen that. Look at that medallion. We have no interest in, in Captain Cuts because we don't have any kind of pirate or or shipping shipping place but um we did see a video of captain cuts cold cuts <clears throat> which is very bad for you by the way a lot of trans fat but um captain cold cuts is a servo right and if you if you wanted to you can make him into your own foxy the pirate jonathan and i saw that on a video and it was pretty amazing So let's see what they have. Oh, they have the buddy. I wonder how much buddy is. <clears throat> I'm gonna see buddy's 199. And yeah, they still have a bunch of these these dudes in stock. This is a different home depot. This is not the one on Forest Avenue in Staten Island, Shallon. This is in uh, Veterans Road, more south. <clears throat> there's there's certain lights that I would want to get right now if I see them. Black light, lead, floodlight? What's that? That's pretty good. That might actually go. Might actually grab that right now. But I wanted those, um, the other lights. The LED, which they don't have. But I did grab three the other day, so I'm okay. I think we'll be all right. Hey, I know this guy. How was yesterday? How was the weekend? It was pretty good. It got busy, busier each night. Friday yeah. was slower. Saturday was a little busier. And Sunday was surprisingly the busiest, but I guess because it was a no holiday school. today. Yeah, nice. So, Sweet. Uh, Twisted Tim, Trails. Tim. It's Tim. You guys know him? What's up, man? How you doing? Good to what are you looking to get? Nothing. I just want to see. Yeah, Captain Cuts. I got him already, though, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, you could get him and you can get reimbursed. Yeah, what else out right there? 174. Yeah. <sighs> they almost got a holiday. Yeah, crazy. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if they give me these. Halfway. Halfway. This week. This week. I'll see you, Tim. Actually, there's more skelly dogs than eight. There's 11. And then, and then the display one. 
All right, so that's that's the state of the um, of Home Depot over here in uh, Veterans Road South. And you snooze, you lose. That's for sure. If you don't get them, you ain't gonna get them. You gotta get them when they have them. Are these guys crashed? Do you have Affleck? Uh, so that's what they got, man. Um, what lights? What LEDs? <clears throat> if you've seen the videos from before and then until now, there's really there's really no no display left. Everything is so expensive, man. Nine dollars. Not even nine. Ten dollars for a box of these lights. They used. You know how much these used to be? Like four dollars or three dollars before COVID. This world is on a brink, man. <clears throat> that skull archway is still not on sale. Um, well, I can't really see anything. I wonder if they have, you know what? Let me take a look in the, they always have something in the, whatchamacallit, in the um, landscaping. So let me check the landscaping. I'll be back. It was good to see Tim. Tim Twisted Trails. I can't even acknowledge Christmas right now. I love Christmas, but I definitely want to enjoy Halloween first and Thanksgiving, you know? The Buddy Elf that looks nothing like Buddy. Right, Buddy? Look at those eyes. I don't know, we'll see if we get him. I would say so, yeah. Gotta have some kind of Christmas uh, animatronics. But not Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you gotta love the, the stacked penguins. <laughs> Honestly, even if I was like rich, I wouldn't care about any of these things. Like, it doesn't matter. The little Grinch doll is pretty cute. I gotta say, I like it. 149. Some humongous balls. New blow molds. Somebody was telling me that the blow molds that I have are worth money. Come and get them. All you. What's up? <clears throat> right, last time I came here, they had a bunch of animatronics oh they do still okay so let's take a look what they have back here if you're still watching um just want to share this one to you too as i take a look at what's left here a lot of lord dunholds yeah the stormtrooper not interested in that at all even though we have yoda i mean be cool but uh, they got a lot of skelly dogs. A lot of skelly dogs. This is a good song too. Knight Dullahan. If he goes on sale and, and I have the money next week, which I'm praying for, I would get it. And then even these color changing um, lights, I would get those. Because Vanessa loves the purple. They would look really beautiful in the garden. How much of these suckers anyway? I don't even know. All right, anyway, so that's where that's where it's at. And little by little, they're dwindling away. Um, last night, we yesterday, we, we had actually really, a really, um, somebody help me. Um, you can see my face. Sorry. 
So this weekend was a very, um, I don't know how to explain it, what kind of weekend we had. It started off pretty good Friday. Um, Friday, I can't remember everything that happened, but Friday I got jacks early, had to go get him a jersey. Um, then we went to Spirit Halloween in Jersey. Went to, I think it was um, East Brunswick, one of, one of our uh, good stores, one of, one of our, our, our uh, go-to stores. And um, we were trying to exchange a couple of items. We almost did, but we didn't have the receipts, which was not, you know, fair. There's a lot of uh, Halloween stuff right here. I bet you they have a Chucky. Um, but anyway, so that was, that was how it started. Went there, then I had to come back home pretty fast. I had to go to work. I did my thing at work, you know, had to go to the school truck. Kelly came over, hung out. It was a nice day. Let me see if you see the animatronics they have left. But uh, let me see, Friday night was nice. And then Saturday, um, Saturday morning we woke up and we lost one of our bunnies, Oreo, Andre's bunny. <clears throat> A possum got it. Wasn't really a good uh, thing at all. Very terrible. And actually, you know, not actually, but it was Andre's birthday. So that was a terrible birthday for her to start out with, you know? Really sad. <clears throat> sad and unfair. There's a bunch of storm, storm troopers up there. <clears throat> but um, we had a gathering, you know, we had a nice birthday party for her. And um, she, she just, you know, handled it the best she could. And we're all there for her. And we did an amazing fire, a Viking fire, to send off Oreo. And it was very sad. Well, very sad for me, too, because that's... I always take care of the bunnies every day. You know, they've been a part of my life now since we got them. So, you know, it's, it's hard. It's not easy taking care of them. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of work taking care of animals. You know, I have a lot of other things to take care of myself, you know, than the animals. But, um, anyway... That was, that was Saturday. Always beeping at Home Depot. But then Sunday, we went to a pumpkin patch in Ort, the Ort Farms pumpkin patch in um, New South Jersey, I think it was. Yeah, I can show you these over here. Like I told you, I want to get this when the time comes. Nice new nativity scene. Unless I stick with the one I have, old school one. Right now, I'm not even, like I said, I can't even consider any of this stuff. It's great, it's cool and stuff like that, but I just, Halloween really takes its toll. It's a lot of work, and we're still actually doing our our haunt and setting up and finishing. So, you know, Stormtrooper. But anyway, Sunday we went to this pumpkin patch, right? Pumpkin patch was great. They had monster truck rides there. Just That's the main reason why I wanted to go to this place. And I went on with Jax, Jonathan, and then Grandma. Grandma went on a march truck ride. That's sick. My grandma, my mom, 75,000 years old, however old she is. She went on that ride. It was awesome. And it wasn't that bad either, man. It wasn't really, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't rough. You know, it was actually very smooth. It was a big, big, humongous track. One of the longest rides we ever went on. He too, you know, so Jonathan really liked it. That was good. It was only eight bucks too, man. And those are the guys that uh, I hope to drive for too. Um, it's Web Slinger, Big Tex. His name is Sean. Sean um, Albert, Albert or something like that. Oblin. I know. I've been. You know, we've been seeing this guy for years, going to shows and going on monster truck rides. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I told you that's that's one of my goals, and one of my dream not dreams, but one of my goals is to drive monster trucks. So that's that's. Uh, we'll see what happens when the time comes. You got a whole bunch of animatronics up there. A Donald Duck. Who the heck knows Donald Duck when you're when kids could kids this eight day age? They know nothing about Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse. That's that's ridiculous. <clears throat> Just my opinion. All right. Anyway, so this is my, my point. So after we went to the pumpkin patch, my daughter Tabitha wanted to go see Terrifier, Terrifier Three. And my daughter is not old. She's only 13, gonna be 14. She looks tall, she looks, she looks older, but she's still a young kid. So, all right, I'm like, listen, we got the animatronics, right? And the animatronics look really cool. So I'm like, 
I'll try it. You know, I've never seen it before. I've never seen one or two. I think the animatronics are great. You know, going to Spirit Halloween and, and Party City and seeing art, you're like, you know, it's harmless, right? It's, it's just a stupid... Well, this guy, this guy's getting those. <clears throat> but, uh... 20 minutes into this movie. Not even 20 minutes. The first... Five minutes into this movie? I can't even... I, I, I'm going to want to tell you. Now, I'm not going to knock it. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just telling you my opinion. Because, you know, I'm a man and I'm a dad. That was a mistake for me to take my daughter there. And I, I did it because, you know, of course I want to do whatever my, my daughter wants. But I also wanted to see for myself what this movie was about, you know, having these animatronics. And then, um, you know, my daughter said I saw, she saw Terminator, I mean, uh, Terrifier 1 and 2. So I'm like, all right, you know. And I'm telling you right now, no, no, no offense to anyone, no offense to the movie, but... I walked out. We, we went like this. See ya. I told my daughter after like the second scene, I told her, I said, Tabby, I said, this is not good. I said, I, I, I honestly, I wasn't even going to watch the movie. I, I was actually going to just put my, like, just not even pay attention to it, just to stay there with Tabby and let, you know, if she really likes this stuff, let her watch it. And I didn't think it was going to be that good. You know, I think, I know it's fake. It's, it's totally fake. It's all, it's all just gore, you know, but as a kid, when I was a kid, they had, they had the movies like um, Dawn of the Dead and Night of the Living Dead and Return of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead scared the crap out of me. It, it was the most horrifying movie I've ever seen in my entire life with mummy, with, with zombies, right? With Walking Dead, you know? And when I was, I think it was 13 or 12 or 14, I don't know how old I was. I was a kid. And after I saw this movie, right? I, I went outside my neighborhood, my, like where I grew up, my, my block, with my schoolyard. I was so afraid. I thought everybody was a zombie. I'm walking around, I'm like, I thought everybody was a zombie. I'm like, I'm going to get eaten, right? I was petrified, scared crap for, for I don't know how long with this movie. So that that's something that I just didn't like, you know? I, I mean, now look at us. We do, we do, you know, a whole Halloween setup of haunts, um, all kinds of different um, animatronics and stuff like that. And, you know, some of them are a little bit, not much, but they're just animatronics, you know, my, my opinion, you know? They're monster core and all stuff, right? But seeing this movie yesterday, I, I just, I, I, I just... I, I just don't need any more negativity in my life. I don't, I don't need any, anything like that, you know? And, and, and again, I'm not gonna knock the movie. That's, if, you know, there was other people in there too. I think as soon as we left, other people started leaving too. That might, that might make people wanna go see it, but um, it's, it, was a, it was a lot to take. And I have things going on right now that I, I do not need any kind of, any kind of, you know, thing coming at me that's gonna you know make my life even harder and 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 deflect good things that are gonna happen for me which I'm, I'm praying also for this week that some major you know approvals happen for for me you know so you know i can keep going on my life um just sharing it with you but um anyway but uh i still like the animatronic i like i like pale girl and i, I like you know art i think they're, they're very cool animatronics and I'm just gonna, you know, warn any parents out there and, and any, you know, young kids, it's not for you, okay? It's not for you to watch. It's, 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 a, it's a movie for people that, um, you know, can handle that kind of stuff that really could laugh through it and, and not take it serious. But for me, it just hit, it hit too hard in, in a way. And I just had a, I could not allow my daughter to see any more of it. And I walked right out and she even told me, she goes, I, she goes, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You know, and I, I told her, I said, Tabby, listen, it's, it's only a movie, it's not real. But it's, it was very graphic. So, you know, I mean, well done as far as, you know, if that's what you're, you know, that the movie is supposed to be, well done. But um, really, 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 the, the movie Terrifier, uh, it's exactly what it is. It's terrifying. So, definitely perfect name. But anyway, moving on. So, that's it from here at Home Depot in Staten Island, New York. Oh, and um, Terrifier was actually filmed in, in Staten Island too and, and parts of that mall where we were yesterday so it was very creepy man but um yikes talk about terrifying they terrified and you know also when we went to that um Halloween Haunters convention what was it called the um trans world I didn't know what that was that was gonna be like either you know I didn't know it was gonna be like um so gory you know all kinds of like gore right and I know it's fake you know but I brought my little guy I brought Jax and I'm like, 
I'm like, I can't have my son walk around with this stuff too. And I look, tell, look at him, tell him, like, Jax, this stuff is fake. It's not real, you know. And he, he's, he's watched Stranger Things. He's watched, um, I think he's watched. He watched. He's seen Five Nights at Freddy. You know, there's killing in that. And I think there was. I think he might have seen another movie too, without me involved. I think maybe Squid Game or something like that. I don't know which one else. I think yeah, he did, he did watch Squid Game because he was singing the song, but. Just understand, because I, I know that there are a bunch of kids out there that, that watch this YouTube channel. <clears throat> and I, I don't want to be a, a um, I want to be a good influence on your kids. And I want to be a good impression. And I want to be a good role model and all that stuff. So just don't watch stuff that you shouldn't watch. You know, if you see it on cable, on any kind of TV, on your your devices, on TikTok, on anything. If, it's, if it seems like it's bad, don't watch it. That's all I could say. You know, and, and I'm all about media. I, I like doing YouTube. You know, I, I like making videos. I like do. I love doing the haunt with my son with Jonathan because he really loves doing this stuff. <clears throat> I love coming to the stores and, and seeing what they have. You know, hyping it up through the whole entire year when they drop the what's going to come out. You know, and then it comes out and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. You know, the build up to it. The um. <clears throat> You know, Spirit Halloween's flagship grand opening, and and you know all the releases. It's great to me, but I just want to you know just do my part, you know, because the kids are the ones that are our future, and a lot of kids keep coming up to me, and they're you know they're very very impressionable, and I just want to just just make the right impression on all of them, all of you, especially through the videos. You know, I want you to know that you know. I'm a real guy, I'm a real man, I'm a dad, a dad first, beyond anything. You know, I'm all about the kids, and I don't want you kids to, to be, uh, decent, you know, just see things that you shouldn't see, all right? So just just take mind of that. But anyway, i wrap up the video. I've gotta get home, start my day, just drop grandma off at bowling. But um, that's the update at Home Depot. And there's definitely some stuff left, but not too much. So that's all I got. All right, everybody, have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the day off today. If you have, if you, you have a day off, if not, you know, don't worry. There's more coming. Jacks, I thought had had today off because it's supposed to be Columbus Day. It's supposed to be a national holiday. All of a sudden, they took it back. So I don't know. But now there's like another holiday. And you want to something funny? This I, something I just heard. What holiday is, is probably like the most? I wouldn't say the most special, but what what holiday is for kids? What what holiday is like one of the most important holidays for kids? Halloween, right? Why don't we have off of Halloween? It is the hardest day. If there is school on Halloween, you know how hard it is for, for mothers and fathers to, to deal with that and, and get the kids ready to go out and trick or treat and all stuff and eat and, and do homework if they have homework, which is ridiculous if teachers give homework on Halloween. So anyway, this Halloween, this Halloween, right? At least the day after Halloween, we have off of school because of Din Wally or something like that, some, some new holiday. But why wouldn't you give us give, give us off on Halloween? Why wouldn't you just let us have that day off? You're gonna give a holiday to, to a what? To a, 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 I don't know what it's called. I don't know who, who it is, what it is. But you're not gonna give the kids a holiday? American kids, kids that live in America that go to school? Make it a national holiday. Are you kidding me? We should have off on Halloween. We should have off on St. Patrick's Day too. You know what I'm saying? All right. That's my video. This is Lord Dunham. I call him Lord. Why do I call him Lord? Because I watch, I watch Last Kingdom. So I call Lord. Knight Dullahan. The $400 horse and carriage. Which is really cool though. You can't, you can't say nothing against this guy. This is really awesome. We'll see if we get him at the end. Right now. Just cannot. All right, that's that, everybody. Let me see what I'm going to end this video at 25 because that's my birthday, 25th. But everybody, have a great day. All righty? I got your back. Keep the comments coming. Let us know what you think about this and that and everything else. Whatever I say is just, is just my opinion. It's not a fact. But I also have the dad skills, so I will give you fair warning about it. Whatever I can. Here we go. Count it down. Five, four, three, two, one.